What is up you guys? You're watching Surgery Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you could please give this gay video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button. I post a video Monday through Friday on contemporary and designer fashion. I'll leave my whole outfit linked down below if you're interested. Also, I am going to be starting my Spanish channel, so if you are interested in that, subscribe. Then the video should start rolling out next month. And today we are going to be doing the worst return that I ever have done. Oh my god, I can literally make 10 videos, guys. I have a couple of stories, guys, so stay strapped in. Grab your little gay water, girl. We're on that skinny legend diet. Well, not skinny legend diet. I've just been really dehydrated recently, so girl, a jug of water every single day it is. And so let's go ahead and get in and strapped in with some of the most disgusting, grossest returns that I have ever done personally. So... The first one, this return happened when I first started working there. And I should have known because I used to work at Victoria's Secret. It's going to kind of let you know how it is. And, you know, Victoria's Secret sells lingerie and, you know, things like that. And so I was already used to having return items in that sector getting returned. And me having to just take the return and to just deal with it. What is wrong with my camera? With the return. But this, so obviously... You could do returns at any counter, right? I worked at a luxury department store, or department store, okay? Some of you guys, you guys can leave the name down below or may just slip out in this video. I don't know. And so you could do a return at any counter, right? And so I just remember this lady had a box and she was like, oh, can I do these returns? And it was a bunch of lingerie and like maybe like four pieces. It was like basically like hanky pinky panties. And if you guys know anything about hinky bakey panties, first of all, allegedly my conspiracy, I heard they're the best panties in the world. Not or not sure if that's true or that's not true, but I did hear that they are the best ones in the world because they are all one size fits all. I don't know how that works, but they're one size fits all. But I basically returned them and I returned like everything she had, but it was all from that same brand. It was all the same underwear. And I remember I was about to leave my shift that day. So I go up. So the way it was is like, when your shift was gone you had like a duty to do so your duty would either be like take all the returns to their department back or take all the shipping orders to the dock or re refill shopping bags so you always had kind of like one little task to do before you left my task just also happened to be to take all the returns back and when i went up there's like hey like i did this return earlier like here you go and she like literally I, and it was all wrapped in plastic like it was an online order so she like literally she said oh my god these are i was like she was like she threw them on the counter she's like these are all worn and the return was a little bit long ago it, it did say like it was like over like 180 days and i was like oh i said oops well not my fault i mean i was like oops but ni modo like it is what it is and she was like it's okay we'll damage it out but um that was kind of the first one and then that kind of made me kind of eye out a little bit more returns um they did have like the tag on them but obviously like the way pla you know you could just regun it and call it a day or if the tag if it has a tag in the plastic for the most part that would scan or if it's just the, the item and it doesn't have a tag you could just literally click on it and it will it will select it and then you can just reticket it at the end um next return that i did which was kind of the most weirdest return and we actually accommodated this return. this return was with a prada handbag and so back then we used to have prada we used to have gucci handbags online right and so the guy came in right and he said and it was a used like used like trash prada handbag like when i tell you it was used like it was like used for a little over a year and he says, hey, I bought my I bought my wife this handbag and it, it I know it's over a year old, but when I looked at the picture, because we were going through transactions, um, it wasn't even the right handbag that got shipped to me. So the handbag that he got was like a soft pebbled leather Prada handbag. I'll try to insert that picture here or like similar of what it looked like. And the bag that he was supposed to get was the Prada Lux Tote, which is the Safiano handbag. And so basically what he wanted us to do to accommodate that return, he wanted us to basically return the used bag because we sent the wrong bag out. We sent the wrong bag to begin with as per se. Um, I, and it was purchased from 808, which is our online store. So it got shipped from a warehouse. I'll make a video about like the, like, I if you guys remember a couple of videos back, how I made a video about a design department store sold me a fake Gucci handbag. It, it was literally me as an employee. I bought that bag and that's what I got. And that's not the first or the last thing that's ever happened to me. Like I remember right before I left, I bought a shirt from the row and I literally got a halogen shirt. 
Um, I bought a Burberry shirt online and I ended up getting a Lucky Brand shirt and I, I just don't know. So for me, I always gave, ever since it happened to me, because I literally have like five stories that I got shipped out the wrong item, even like a, a different St. Laurent handbag, like so much stuff. So for, I give people the benefit of the doubt because it's happened to me as an employee. So it's not my fault that 808 or online mixes up or like takes whatever because for me that's not my like for me i know how it feels like to be accused or or to think that you know that you did something wrong and so i went and i talked to my manager i like explained the situation like how do you feel the situation i said well honestly like i mean we all know like all my stories with me like buying all this stuff and you guys get to tell like you know this this happens to me as an employee it's happened to other employees it's happened to customers so Honestly, like I believe him. Yes, the bag is used over a year old, but since it is a bag over two thousand dollars, it's not a bag that we're gonna take a hit on because it wasn't purchased from our store. So I'm just like I, I kind of gave my judgment as like I kind of would say yes, but I'm not gonna make that call because I'm not gonna be responsible for or get in trouble for returning a used two thousand dollar plus bag. And basically, what the customer wanted was wanting us to ship him out the right bag. So he wanted us to return the used pebble leather bag and exchange it out for the Prada Luxe tote. But since Prada went into concession, or you can only buy Prada through the Prada boutique inside two boutiques that we have inside the department store, which is uh, our store didn't have Prada. It was uh, Michigan Avenue in Chicago and it was Bellevue um, in Washington. And so I called the store and basically I think they didn't have that combination and so manager either ended up putting it on a gift card or refunded it back and he was done. He was like, well, I can just go to the product store in St. Neiman Marcus and just buy it. So I know we did take that return. Um, it was a different bag. You know, we didn't have that bag in stock because I called the store and they didn't have it uh, or they didn't have the combination that he was looking. That happened. That was really crazy. But, you know, it's literally happened to me where I literally get a halogen shirt, a, a clearance $20 halogen shirt. Not saying there's nothing bad with halogen because I literally have so much halogen clothing in my collection, like a lot of basics. But how do you confuse a halogen printed shirt with a buttoned, but a blue button up from the row? I don't know. So that's happened to me many times. So I always give the customers the benefit of the doubt because it's happened to me. So, I mean, it is what it is. But the next story time is going to be um, a Tory Burch fake tea monogram handbag. So basically, this was like on a Sunday or like a Saturday. It was a really busy day. So obviously, customer service, people return, do the return. You know, usually for contemporary, we really don't check for the return. We only really check for returns if they're a designer. And I was um, the one that does. If I was present that day and I would always accommodate all designer returns, I would be like, well, Sergio's gonna, or like all my all my coworkers say, like, Mr. Secrets is gonna go check it. So I would go in, I'd be like, hi, how are you? If it was a Louis Vuitton item through through like Michigan Avenue or or downtown Seattle, then I would be like, well, you have to go through them. Or if it's, you know, a Gucci handbag that was purchased, or if it's um, like a Strathberry bag, anything that was marked designer, I did the return for it because I knew most of everything and I could tell something was real or fake or if it's one condition, not one condition. So obviously for a Tory Burch bag, they didn't call us. So when we got it in, it was literally this bucket bag right here. It was literally smashed. And then when I look at it, because sometimes, you know, since we do have a very liberal return policy, you'd be surprised with the things I found inside of bags that have been returned. And I have another story <laughs> coming up real soon about that in this video. And there was literally hair glue inside, like wig glue. I said, oh girl, somebody then left a little wig glue inside. And then I just like started inspecting the bag. And then I took one from the floor and I looked for them like in between. And it was like a fake tea monitor. The bucket bag, I didn't know that. I mean, yes, I've seen like replica Troy Birch handbags, but they're usually pretty awful. But that bucket bag was pretty spot on it. If I do say so myself, it was a pretty spot on one. The tag was very weird, like you could just tell that it was a replica, but it, you could, it was pretty spot on. I mean, even for me, I couldn't believe it, but once I compared them, I was like, no, Sergio, like, get it out of your mind, this is a replica. So, 
I damaged it out and it was hair glue girl. So somebody done left their little hair glue. The bag was all like all squashed. It looked like it just got into the box. Flipped it, returned it, and kept it moving. I feel like that's what they did. So uh, replica Tory Burch team monogram bag. That was something that uh, popped up whenever. So like whenever customer service had an overflow of items, they would just come and like grab it with their hands and then dump it in the counter. Not or just be like, here's your returns. And then obviously if, if if it was busy, we would take care of it later. If it wasn't busy, we would go ahead and process it. Ooh, if it's sell, if it's full price, if it's out on the floor, do we back stock it, whatever. So it came from like one of the people. So um, it is what it is and things like that happen. Another story that I quite remember quite well was um, this lady bought a Saint Laurent handbag like, like on some random night and then returned it like two days later during the day and it happened to work both of those sh and when the bag came back so the bag was brand new it had all the plastic and everything but whenever it came back and got returned it had like such a potent marijuana smell and so our thing with if a handbag had a scent to it we really couldn't argue or deny a return so i know i did get asked about that like what happens if you get a bag that smells awful or something we accommodated that return if it was still in sellable condition it had all the plastic and everything in it but it just had such a like it looked like the person was like smoking like i i've never smoked weed in my life but it looked like it like i know what it smells like like it literally looks like the person was literally like so it's smoking it like in the bag or like hot box the car or whatever so i mean it was a return where i just didn't know what to do but that it, i was told if it was in sellable condition if it does have an odor we put it on personal book we put it out for like three four days we let it air out in the back office and if it still smells we would damage it out and if it didn't smell we would put it back out on the floor or we would put it back in the back and it's good to be sold again um that did happen one time oh my god but that scent oh my god i could smell it right now and that was like a couple years back um another return that i remember that was very recently was I was called to do a Valentino belt return. And so when I looked at the belt, I said, oh no, this is a replica, like I am not returning it. Like I am not returning it. Like it is a fake Valentino belt. It looked like the ones from Amazon that just had a V on it. And it, it, like the inside didn't even say Valentino Garbini. It didn't say anything. It just said like the size of it. And I think it said it made in China or, and then it had like a slash. So it was like the size, slash made in china and it didn't have like any any branding of where it said like valentine or anything and so i told the person in customer service because this was like towards the end where a lot of the times we would just say yes to a lot of it and so for me i just didn't feel like arguing i didn't feel wasting my time because i just didn't like how another manager was just gonna say just return it and but like also have been sold fake stuff before so i know how it feels like so i like towards the end i just stopped caring because it was just kind of like that gray area where you don't want to accuse the client of that but it's also like are we really going to take a replica of valentino belt so i just told the the girl in customer service said call the manager in charge and let them do with it say that sergio says this is a replica and whatever happens happens and then all my coworkers were like what happened i said well it was a replica no i think my friend went and she checked it because i think i was in the restroom she said hey sergio you have to look at this belt because i'm not sure then i went and i checked it and then that's when i told the girl customer service to call the manager in charge and then i went back out on the floor and i was just like selling and living the gay life and then like 20 minutes passed by and i go back to the girl and i'm like hey so like what ended up happening said, oh we took the return so i look i see the return and i just damage it out but it was just like very frustrating but it is what it is it came with the territory but um we did return like an amazon kind of like fake valentino belt so that did happen one time um next one is a alexander mcqueen clutch this is my early days and this is a beautiful mcqueen clutch like if i could find a picture about how beautiful that clutch is and it was like uh such a beautiful clutch i i dream about that clutch like every couple of months i went to the picture of it right here oh my god isn't it such a dreamy clutch like i just think it's so pretty so anyway so i remember my coworker sold it like closing shift one night sold her a mcqueen bag and like maybe like something else and then like a month later she tried she comes back at a night and I, I was closing that night and i think it was just me and handbags and somebody like in eyeglasses it was in and it was back then when mcqueen had the older packaging when it was still silver it was transitioning into the white boxes and so basically she like 
she like comes up to me she's like hey like i want to buy a jiwanchi bag i want this bag right here i'm like okay so i unlocked it i'm like oh cute it's gonna be a nice sale and then she has like she had like a chanel backpack or something she gets out out of her chanel backpack she throws the clutch and no she didn't throw it but she like puts it on the counter like bangs it and then she's just i want to exchange this clutch for this jiwanchi handbag and call it a day so i was like okay so Honest, this was back then, like I said, I took it very seriously, like I opened the box, I made sure everything was good, but the inside had like hair strains, and the inside of the clutch um, was suede lined, and it looked like the person was smoking weed or cigarettes, and there was like a little bit of cigarette debris all over the handbag. The handbag didn't have an odor to it, but it was at the point where if I scrape that out, it, as I scrape it out, or if I try to like, you know, like, <laughs> I have a candle right here, as I kind of go like, that would be so funny if the actual candle falls like you know it's gonna damage a little suede on the inside so i just kind of like peeked at it a little bit and i saw that it was gonna tug at it and it was gonna get um it's gonna get damaged and so i said well unfortunately let me call them unfortunately i cannot take this return and then she was like well, who are you are you the manager how dare you tell me no and so like are you the manager whatever and i said no she's like well you can't tell me no so i the manager back then they were all gone for the day so the manager in charge was a beauty manager and i was really cool with her and i said well honestly like if you don't want to say no just tell her to come back tomorrow to talk to the designer handbag manager because back then three different managers it used to be a manager exclusively for designer handbags it used to be and then there was another manager for soft accessory eyewear and handbags that was another manager so it's two and then somebody in jewelry now it's one manager that controls all that area back then i said just to tell her just to come back and she was just being so rude so disrespectful like she was like how dare he tell me no who the who the f does he think he is and this was like back then where i was just kind of like new to selling as well and so i was kind of like i just kind of like shook there and just like was like quiet but then when another customer came on the then another customer had came on the floor and i kind of like gravitated towards them i was like can i help you with anything and the customer wasn't even looking for anything but i kind of like just started i kind of wanted to get distracted because i also couldn't leave the floor because it was i was the only one there she ended up not returning she ended up saying no and i believe she tried to come back a couple days later to return it and we told her no so she didn't end up returning that mcqueen clutch but that did happen so i'm glad that the beauty manager actually backed me up and actually have a really great relationship with her she's actually really nice um next handbag is going to be um ted baker bag getting returned and it was a ted baker bag and she was just kind of rude too she was just like i want to return this bag and she kind of like threw it she was like i just not feeling it anymore i just don't like it and back then we carried ted baker handbags and so i returned it and then i was off my way and then as i like look around the bag and inspection it i see that in the back pocket or like inside the bag uh, there was like a little pocket she left her birth control there so i was like "Ooh, this is going to be interesting because a, I have no information to contact her. Like, I just, I took the return contact. But I, I said, she's going to come back and call. And so, like, three hours later, she ended up calling the store. She's like, hey, did I leave something in the bag? And I said, oh, yeah, your birth control. <laughs> I said, like, did you leave your birth control in the bag? Because I just found it. And she's like, oh, my God. And then so she came back. She's like, thank you so much. Like, I didn't mean to leave it on there. I was just trying to see my stuff fit in there. And she was just, like, she was just trying to be, like, fake. She was trying to be fake nice, even though she was mean, having an attitude about returning the bag. Like, just returning it. Let me get out of my way little did i have her birth control and so i could have i mean i would never say that i didn't have because karma is real and i never want to get in trouble i don't want god to punish me for you know me trying to be malicious i will always do the right thing and so i did the right thing in that situation i told her i was honest she came back and she apologized i mean she didn't apologize she's like i'm so sorry like i'm so embarrassed but i was like it's okay girl i was like here's your birth control and i sent her on the way i damaged out the back and I kept it moving. And then story. And let me know if you want to see a little gay part two, gay part three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me know if you want to see another part of this video. This is gonna be a long jump return. And this, like this lady, like I've never been so frustrated. Like all the other stories were like fine. This was probably the most frustrating because I ended up getting back. It was like different managers back then. I've been through so many managers, by the way. I ended up getting chewed out a little bit and I didn't really appreciate it, but it is what it is. So basically it was this like this girl, right? And she was like this like tall, like really big girl. She had like long blonde hair. She had a diet soda Coke in her hand. I'm just describing her like, cause you'll kind of see how like rude she kind of got towards me. And so she went to customer service to try to return the bag. That's what everybody does. Every re re used return item, 
they don't have the balls to return it in the department but they're they're quickly to go return it customer service they call me like hey sergio like there's this really used bag well they didn't say used bag they're like this there's this handbag that i want to take you to look at and can you please come so Minty gets a designer bag but it ended up being like the classic 145 long shop she purchased this bag two years ago when i looked at the bag she she had her coke right there she was just like very rude like she kind of like felt like inconvenienced because somebody had to check the bag so it was a Le pliage classic black 145 both of the four corners have all holes in it and you could start to see white and she was like i'm a teacher like um my pins are falling out like i just this shouldn't happen this is nylon like this bag's supposed to be indestructible and i said well ma'am how long have you had the bag and i looked at the transaction just to kind of see what she was telling. she's like i've had it for less than a year but on the screen it tells you the time frame so it was like well over like a little like a little under two years and i said well my end it shows that you had the bag for two years so um Longchamp, if you actually go to the Longchamp boutique, they'll actually take care of it. What they'll do is they'll end up cutting the seams and you could actually have your bag back. It may take a little bit of time during these, you know, uncertain times, but you can for sure, you know, you'll for sure be able to get your handbag fit. I bought it through Nordstrom. I, I believe the Nordstrom policy stands more than the Longchamp policy. I just want to get a new one. Like, I'm not even trying to return it. I just want a new one. I said, well, ma'am, this bag has wear and tear on it. Like, you know, it's it's $145 bag. You could take, I didn't say it was $145 bag. I just said, you know, you could just take it to a Longchamp store. There's, you know, luckily there's one here in the mall. It's like literally two stores out. And then they're more than happy. They're really nice and they'll accommodate you. Well, that's just not going to work for me. Like, I just want a new bag. I just want a new bag. I just want a new bag. I'm not going to take no for an answer. I just want a new bag. And so I was like, you know what? Okay. So I ended up like go. We ended up walking. So I told the the girl customer service to so the guy. I was like, I was like, just get another customer. I'll take care of it. So I walk her in there. I'm like, so the same one. She's like, yes. And then like, but the entire time, like she just had this smirk on her face. Like she was like, ah, thank you so much for returning my bag. Ah, so finally my pins won't fall off. Like she was just like, she was so rude about it. Like she was just like, she just felt better than just because she was able to return it now if she would have the bag maybe like a month or like even less than six months i could see it but the fact that the inside had pin marks it was trash it was used i was just like and longchamp could repair it for free i felt like that was a little bit more of the better thing to do but at the end of the day the customer is always right even though the customers the customer is not always right i'm just gonna be honest and that goes for any store restaurant um services uh, flight attendants pilots like everything the customer is not always right and i feel like sometimes you need to put customers in their place but you know obviously where i worked at it's very like a like very not it's like a very liberal return policy so anything kind of goes because it's kind of case by case that one i kind of did have my pun like i was just like have you ever seen like that emoji of like arthur where it's like the hand like right here it was just like that's probably the only moment and i've been disrespected so many times on the floor that was the only moment where i felt like <sighs> and i took a break i had a starbucks drink and i came back on the floor and i was relaxed but that was probably the one because she was just like so obnoxious about it she was just so like like uh head assistant on it like so like dominant and assertive and oh my god that one did kind of boil my blood a little bit back then no girl i don't care girl i keep it moving but yeah guys these are going to be some of the returns that i did if you want to see a part two or part three part four five six twenty nine ten definitely let me know down below because i have stories for days what do you think about stories did they shock you did they not shock you i have one about returning a fake chanel handbag girl i have the i have stories for days girl i can i can go on and on and on and on so see another story time guys and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you thank you thank you so much for watching guys i love each and every single one of you and i'll see you guys on the next gay video bye guys and take care